Hi, I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance, bringing you another edition of the Bell Performance video blog. And last time we talked about the role of the oxygen sensor in affecting your fuel mileage. Well, today we're going to talk about another two components that can affect your fuel mileage, the EGR valve and your fuel injectors. Okay, EGR valve. As with oxygen sensors, not very many people know exactly what this thing does. I know I didn't when I was in college. I used to get a, a, a service support. My check engine light would be on. It would say, uh, the mechanic would tell me, you need a new EGR valve. I'd be like, well, I don't know what that is, so who cares? And uh, I never did actually get it replaced. Um, what an EGR valve does is it is another one of those emissions control systems that are put in place to try and get the car to be more environmentally friendly. Okay. What it does is it essentially uh, takes um, exhaust gas, uh, you know, you know uh, uh, the exhaust that has already been burned, the exhaust that's been produced after combustion of the gasoline or in your in your engine, and it recirculates it back and puts it back into the intake manifold. Now, why do they need to do this? Well. What they're really trying to do is they're trying to minimize the formation of these nitrogen oxide gases, or what they call NOx gases. Uh, those in the industry, they'll call them NOx gases for short. And they don't like these because they're very, very bad for the environment. Um, you get a lot of NOx formed by cars and trucks in urban areas, and uh, that contributes to smog. It contributes to poor air quality. Uh, NOx gases are not very good to be breathing in. Uh, the thing about them from a chemical standpoint is that NOx gases, the formation of them are what they call temperature dependent. They need a high temperature in order to form. So when your engine gets really hot or when you have a really hot combustion situation, the hotter it is, the more NOx gas, whether it's NO2 or NO3, the more of those harmful gases are going to be formed. Uh, unfortunately, when you're trying to improve combustion, many times you're aiming to get a hotter temperature. So you, you kind of have a trade-off. You burn more of the carbon, you get better fuel efficiency, but suddenly your, your, your combustion chamber is hotter and you're getting worse emissions, worse air quality. So they designed these engines with these EGR valves, which stand for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. And what it does is it takes some of that already burned exhaust gas, which is a mixture of air and a little bit of unburned fuel and it cycles it back and spits it back into the uh, uh, intake manifold and whenever you add that it's going to have the effect of cooling that down and when you cool that down then you're going to get less NOx formation. Uh, when you hear about lean mixtures and rich mixtures of fuel and air the thing to remember is that Contrary to what you may think, if you have more unburned fuel in that mixture, it's actually cooler. People think that fuel, you know, more fuel equals hotter because fuel burns and creates heat. But when you're talking about a fuel air mixture post combustion, a a a a fuel air mixture that has more fuel in it and less air is actually cooler than one that has more air and less fuel. So an EGR valve only works at certain times in the engine. It's not always open all of the time. Um, it's not supposed to work when you're idling. It's not supposed to work when you're gunning the engine, you know, when you've got the throttle wide open. Okay? What it's really only supposed to do is it's only supposed to work when you're having like, you know, slow and steady, you know, steady acceleration, not gunning it, not not gunning the throttle open. Um, the problem is that just like with oxygen valves, uh, EGR valves, because they're exposed continually to an airstream that has combustion byproducts in it, um, they'll get a buildup in them. And if you leave them long enough, you don't replace them, that buildup eventually causes them to stick. And when they stick open, then they're stuck open at times of driving that they're not supposed to be open. And when they're doing that, then they're letting exhaust gas to recirculate continually back into the engine when it's not supposed to. And that is not the way the engine is supposed to you know, be designed to work. It's not the way how, what they had in mind when they were coming up with this system. So you want a clean EGR valve that only opens and it closes when it's supposed to. If you have that, you'll get great emissions and it won't have any negative effect on your mileage. But if your EGR valve is dirty and it's stuck open, 
then it's going to circulate too much exhaust gas back and that's going to drop your fuel mileage and it's going to affect your vehicle's performance as well. So, pay attention to your owner's manual. Uh, service your EGR valve. Get it replaced. It's not expensive. Uh, get it replaced when it's recommended or if your mechanic points out that you need one, go ahead and get that done. Your performance of your vehicle and your fuel mileage will improve for that. So, thanks very much for joining me today with the Bell Performance Video Blog. I am Eric Bjorn said with Bell. If you like this blog, then feel free to like this page on YouTube, like this video, and also feel free to subscribe to our video channel on YouTube or go to the Bell Performance Video Blog and become a subscriber there. So anyway, thanks very much for joining me today, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.